Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Excuse my unmade bed and messy room and my appearance. <laughs> so today in this video, we are glowing up people. We are gonna get out of this and put on something cuter. <laughs> but also I'm getting my hair done today. I get Brazilian blowouts like once a year and I swear by them, I love them. And today's the day I'm getting that done. So it's kind of like a little transformation video and also like a get ready with me vlog chit chatty thing we got going on um my apartment's really messy i just got back from home i was in indiana for labor day just visiting family and stuff but i guess here's like a mini tour of what i'm gonna do in this glow up process is um shower so i'm gonna do that out of the shower i'm in my nice little towel I just did, I just did like a body rinse because I'm getting my hair done so why would I waste product on like washing my hair and stuff like that when that's about to happen. So I'm not gonna do that. Just a quick little like body rinse shower. I'm gonna get dressed. Okay, just in this black top that has literal fuzz all over it. So I get out of the shower, I wash my face with Proactive. Then I use these facial radiant pads. They're seriously my favorite. This is like my fifth like container of these. I just love the feeling. I feel like it gets all the dead skin off. Okay, so also I'm gonna get ready just because I feel like when you get your hair done, I just feel so more like luxurious and cute when my hair is also like when I'm, I don't know, have makeup and stuff on. I don't usually wear makeup on a daily basis. And, when, and my makeup routine guys is like, not even close to, I don't know. It's like a more natural look, I guess. Cause I personally just feel like when I put a ton of makeup on, it doesn't look good. Like I'm like jealous of the people. Ooh, I should try this. I'm jealous of the people who can wear a lot of makeup and it looks good on them. I feel like when I try to wear like a, a lot of makeup, I just look wrong. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like some people just have the ability. I just don't think it just, I just don't think it works for me. So I'm gonna put on moisturizer. I know this is really bougie, but this is the Tatcha Dewy Cream. What I like about it, literally, that's how much you need. That's it, just this teeny tiny amount. And it goes a long way for my whole entire face. So this stuff just lasts. It lasts so long, it makes my skin so soft. And honestly, I have a really dry face. So for me, moisturizer is really, really important, especially here in California where it's already dry and then I already have dry skin. It just is like, I need to drop the bands on a really good moisturizer. I'm gonna put on is this Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer from L'Oreal. Honestly, I love this so much so much it makes my face so glowy the only thing i don't really like about it is it's kind of like watery but i love it i also have a smashbox like water primer but i only really use that if i'm putting on like real foundation which i'm not so next i'm gonna take which i love this too the nudes it, they're like these foundation sticks but I got this light color, I got medium five, and I just use it as concealer. So I just put it under my eyes, right here, on my chin. And then I also use these like foundation type sticks from Fit Me, from Maybelline. This is Toffee and this is Coconut. I always forget which one. I think it's this one. This is the darker shade, and I use this as like the bronzing shade on my face. I literally am like doing this without looking in a mirror. Hold on. So that's what it looks like when I put it all on. Then I take my beauty blender and I just begin to blend all that out. Honestly, I saw Jackie Aina Ayn do this, where she like does that stuff before she puts her foundation on, which I don't use foundation normally. I use this tinted moisturizer 
Also from First Aid Beauty, <laughs> I love First Aid Beauty, but this is seriously my favorite thing in the world. I like it because it has sunscreen in it, and I honestly also really love the smell of it. I don't know, but this is just like perfect for me. It's like the perfect amount of like oomph that I'm looking for. It's like your skin but better kind of thing. It's not really cakey. I get it in bronze. I know they just came out with a lot more shades before. They only had three, which is like not it, obviously, but they stepped their game up and they came out with way more shades. And I use bronze and I think it looks perfect for my skin tone. And I feel like it just makes me look, I don't know, like just gets the job done. I feel like when I put on really high coverage foundation or any foundation really, it just doesn't look good. I just really struggle matching foundation to my skin especially because it the color of my skin changes so much depending on like how often I'm, I'm in the sun and like all that kind of stuff so i feel like whenever oh no oh no oh no i feel like whenever i buy a foundation i can't even use it that long because it's like all of a sudden it doesn't match my skin anymore i'm just gonna try to save this powder that's currently on my fingers um, I use the Beauty Bakery Setting Powder. Um, I love this. I get like the yellow toned one and it's perfect. And I just take that and like put it under my eyes. I don't know, this is what it looks like. Super cute. Oh my gosh, look at my shirt. No, I feel like I just made it worse. I may have to change shirts. That can't blame anyone but myself. So I'm gonna take this brush, which is definitely the wrong brush to do this with, and this is the, this like Tarte Contour Kit, and I just take the darkest shade and just like put it on, I guess I have this mirror. I just like, just put it on, on here like that. I know it looks bad guys, I know, I know, I know. I know, okay? but it's gonna work out, trust me. It's gonna be okay. And I'll go back with this stuff and just like go back over everything. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm seriously getting this powder everywhere. It's such a waste. Ugh, it makes me so upset. So then after I do that, then I go to also this Beauty Bakery palette. It's one of their blush palettes. This is what it looks like. Very pretty. I think I'm going to go with the lighter pink color today because I was kind of out in the sun a lot the last few days I was home. So I, f I feel like if I use this color, I'll look way too like, I'll just look crazy. So I'm just going to use this one. All right, got some blush on my face. Then the last thing for my face is I take this Anastasia highlighting kit or glow kit. This is what it looks like. Mine's kind of broken. And I think I'm going to take this one and just put that on my face. I want to know what it's like where you guys are. Is everything open? Is everything back to normal? Did you go into school? Are you doing online schooling? Are you doing a hybrid? I just feel like in Indiana it's so weird because like they're playing youth sports. The high school sports seasons are happening. All the schools are open. People are going into school. Like literally everything is open. You can eat inside restaurants and it's just not that way here in California. Like they just opened hair salons last week, which is why I'm going tonight. But things are just still very much closed here. And now with the wildfires, the air quality here is so bad too. Like you just really shouldn't be outside. And um, things are just very different here than it is, it seems like everywhere else. So I'm just very curious, like what's it like where you are? You know, like give me the tea, what's it like? So shocked when I went home by like how quote unquote normal everything was and how open everything was. And in Indiana, like you have to wear a mask too. And that's similar to here in California. But I don't, it's just so different. Okay, so my last step is mascara. And I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay, makeup is, is done. It literally doesn't look like I have any makeup on and that's usually um, 
that's how I roll. Gosh, my phone wasn't even charging. I hate when that happens. Uh, my outfit right now, as of now, it's just like these Lululemon biker shorts and this black crop top, but I don't really like it. So, plus I just got like all the stuff on this shirt. So I think I'm just gonna change sweater on. I love this sweater. It's seriously like so, so soft. I don't really love this either. I think it's the biker shorts. I think the biker shorts have to go. It's just hot, so I wanted to wear shorts. I also just feel like it's my hair. Like, look at this. This is just ridiculous. I feel like it's my hair that's like throwing me off. Like, when I'm getting my hair done, I can't, I really wanna wear a hoodie, like a hoodie, but I can't wear a hoodie because then it like gets in the way for the hairstylist and that's annoying for them and I don't wanna do that to them. So I'm obviously not gonna do that to them, you know? So I have to wear something that doesn't have a hood, but I also wanna be comfortable. It's like this whole thing, you know? I probably should put a bra on too, just in case. I mean, I'm gonna have something over my, over me anyways, actually. I don't know why I say I can't wear a hoodie. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep this on. <laughs> I don't feel like changing and it'll be okay. I'm gonna leave a little early, like an hour before my appointment because I really need to go to the store because I ran out of toilet paper and um, I need to grab a few things from there. Not like groceries really because I can't buy groceries because then they would have to sit in the car and yeah, I can't do that because I'm gonna be at the hair salon for forever. But I just need to get like toilet, like that kind of stuff, like toilet paper, um, I need lotion, like random stuff like that. Um, yeah, and then I'm also, I'm like over here complaining, but I'm literally going to Shake Shack too because I was craving it the whole time I was gone because we don't have one in Indy. And they seriously have the best chicken sandwiches ever. Like I love their chicken sandwich so much. And their french fries are also really good. And it's right down the street from where I'm getting my hair done. So I'm, and I know I'm gonna be starving because it's dinner time right now, it's five o'clock. Um, or it's past five really. Like I, I just know I'm gonna be starving and i don't wanna it's gonna feel even longer if i'm hungry while i'm waiting to get it done so i'm just gonna go get the food i'm gonna go to safeway because it's right next to there too and then i'm gonna go get food and then i'm gonna eat and then i'm gonna go to my appointment and it's gonna be amazing and i'm excited so that's what we're doing now all right guys this is what it looks like i just cannot believe how long my hair is. Insanely long. He did such a good job. I love how shiny and soft my hair always is after I get these done. Like, it's crazy. I swear by these always. Uh, I'm filming in this mirror because it's so dark in my apartment right now, honestly, and this is just easier, but that's it. That's the transformation. I seriously, I swear by these because I feel like my hair grows after I get these done because I don't mess with it as much. I'll um, update you guys, like my hair's still curly. <laughs> like when I wash my hair, it'll still be curly. I get it done because it reduces the frizz in my curl. It makes it less tangly. It's just still straight from getting it done. That's all my hair's still curly. But I might like look, look at that that shine that's gonna be it for this video i hope you enjoyed it uh i'm not really sure what else to film these days because i feel like it's mostly just me in my apartment just working and chilling and watching movies and stuff but um i'm gonna do an updated fitness video to kind of let you guys know where i was at and what i've been doing and all that good stuff. But other than that, I'm not really sure what to film. So if you guys have any suggestions, just let me know and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.